first and foremost, Kwah Allah, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshah, Bashem, Rukwah Kadash, Double Honest Sad Apostles, a great millstone, Shalom to the Akim out there in the highways and byways, knows this road abroad, all around the world, to the span of power of our Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshah. So, you know, this nigga, polite, you know, good riddance, because, you know, he had it coming to him. So, hallelujah. Hooray, hallelujah. He had it coming to him. <laughs> You know, that was a song from um, Frankie Lyman, Goody Goody. But yeah, he had it coming to him. And that's what he gets. And we don't feel fucking sorry for you. We don't feel bad for you. You're gonna get what you deserve. All right, because the thing is, you had plenty of time to repent, you know, to turn away, you know what I'm saying, to repent and make it right. You know, you had all that time, but you know, you were boasting, bragging, proud, you know, and it, it, it caught up to you. You know, your pride, your ego, you know, ended up catching up to you. Because you thought you could just do whatever you want, you know what I'm saying? And thinking you're going to get away with that, you know? It all, it all backfired. You know, your your black queen turned on you. Your black queen, your black your black goddess, the black woman is God. She ended up turning against you, called you a monster and a demon. But you are a monster and, and a demon. Because look, look at what you did. You know, you made mockery of the Bible. You shot up the Bible. You said that you didn't give a fuck about our Lord Yahweh Shai very proudly so you got exactly what you deserve and we told you you know we told you you was gonna pay you know we, we told you especially when you said you didn't give a fuck about our lord Yahweh Shai you know we told you your big chest was gonna pay for that you piece of shit and now your big chest is paying for it you see now now you you paying for what you said disrespecting our lord you know? And this is what you get. And we don't feel sorry for you. You know, Bob Bob is already waiting in that cell for you. You know, Bob is definitely waiting in that cell. <laughs> you know? Bob is wait is Bob is, is waiting. <clears throat> Bob is just patiently waiting in that cell. Waiting for you to get through that cell. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's right. Bob is definitely waiting in that cell. <laughs> All right. Um. Anyway, let, let's get to the scriptures. You know. But anyway, this is Galatians chapter six, verse seven. Be not deceived. The Most High is not is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You see? So what you sowed, that you shall also reap. You know? You reap what you sow. So you did all that wickedness and all that evil. You know? You cursed our Lord out. You know, the our Lord Yahweh Shai out. You know, you, cur you cursed him. You cursed out his name. You know? So this is what you get. The Most High, our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, delivered you over into the hands of your um of your enemies. You know, the Most High delivered you over into the hands of your enemies. And boy, did they have a field day with you, them them prosecutors, you know them 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 judges, you know, you know them them um them the jury. You know, they they have a they had a field day with your ass. You know. They don't they don't fucking <laughs> just ran you through the ringer. But you see, this is what happens when you don't fear the Lord of our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. When you don't fear the Lord, our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, this is what happens to you. You get delivered over into the hands of your enemies. You see? You thought you you thought you was on top of the world. 
you know you had all them cars that, that money you know the, the the women all of that all gone down the tube all of that's all gone you know you trust in your money you trust in uncertain riches scripture says not to trust in uncertain riches but that that's what you did and look where it got you you know look where it got you you're boastful you're, you're lying your bullshit just caught up with you you know all that rape you know it all backfired against you you know you try to mock you know the head apostles of GMS you know the, the men of the Lord you know you try to mock them calling us rapists you know saying we're rapists and all of that but look at you you got caught up in the exact same thing you know over here forcing alcohol down a 14 year old girl making her drink alcohol and all of this drugging her you know you de you deserve what you what you get you deserve every bit of what you're gonna get and then some you know what I mean but that's because of your lack of knowledge you lack knowledge and here it is, you know, the head apostles of GMS, they try to give you the knowledge, but you rejected it. So look look where you at now. By you rejecting the knowledge, you know, that we were giving you through the by the head apostles were giving you through the spirit and power of our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, you rejected it. So in return, the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahshai rejected you. And let's get that real quick. Um let's see. So this is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hateth, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. You see? So because of your lack of knowledge and your lack of belief, you know, because of your rejection of the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you know, through the spirit and power of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, to his men, because you rejected the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, ultimately the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, rejected you. You know, and delivered you over into the hands of your enemies. Now look at you, pathetic, you know, low, defeated. <laughs> and it really was the crushing bro blow to all of it when the mother, you know what I'm saying, came up to the stand and, and totally just cursed your ass out. Called you a, a demon and a monster. You know, that was just music to my ears right there once I heard that, you know. Because that's exactly what you are. A fucking demon and a monster. You know. Because what kind of psychotic idiot would take the Bible, you know, hold an AK-40, whatever gun you had in your hand, whatever whatever kind of gun that was in your hand, a fully automatic machine gun, whatever, you know, whatever is AR-15, you know, and then shoot up the scriptures. What kind of demonic, you know, creature would do something like that? You know, that was mad demonic what you did. And what you said about our Lord Yahweh Shai. You know, that was just demonic as hell. And I agree with her. You are a demon and a monster. That's what that's exactly what you are. And you deserve every bit of pain and anguish that you're gonna receive being up in there. Being up in the booty house. You know? With a bunch of booty warriors. <laughs> You know, that, that's exactly what you get. And we don't feel no pity for you neither. So go ahead and cry on to your gods. You know, where's your gods at? You know.
So let me get that in. Um, So this is um So this is um Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse um 35. So it reads, "To me belong the vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time." You see? Their foot shall slide slide in due time. So in due time, you know, though it didn't happen overnight, you know, when we when brothers were saying that you were going to pay for what you did, you know, especially disrespecting our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, it, though it didn't happen overnight, but in due time, which the time I came, it happened, you know, so you thought she was gonna, you thought she was gonna just, just gonna sail off in the sunset, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, getting away with all the bullshit that you did, you thought she was just gonna sail away and get away with that, hell no, the most I had your number, you know, our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai hacked your number, and in due time he punched he punched he punched your number. You know, let let me read that again. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two, verse thirty-five. It reads, "To me belong vengeance and recompense, that their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand." You see, so the day of your your day of calamity was at hand, you know. Cause, you know, the most high Yahweh Shim Yahshai is mer merciful. He will give you time to repent. But if you don't, then eventually your bullshit will catch up to you. And and it did, you know. Eventually your bullshit ended up catching up to you. And now you're paying for it. You know? So let me read that one more time. And I'm gonna just go down. Uh -oh. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 5. To me, to me belong a vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time, for the for the day of their calamity is at hand. And the things that shall come up upon them maketh haste. So and the things that shall come upon them shall make haste upon them make haste so this this thing is hasting now on you because now now everything is coming upon your own head now the most high is recompensing everything upon your own head now yeah how about shim yow shai verse 36 for the lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants when he seeth that their power is gone and that there is no and that there is none shut up or left you see so all that power all that wealth that you had is gone you know because you thought you was high and mighty you know with all that money that you had you know you know taking pictures on Rolls royces and taking pictures with different women and all of that now all of that is gone you know all that shit is gone and there is none shut up or left all right so verse 37 and he shall say, where are their gods? Their rock and whom they trust. So where, where's your gods? You know, where, where are the gods that you trust in? You know, that, that, them Kemet, you know, the, the Egyptology gods, you know? Where are those gods that you trust in? You know, Kemet, you know, the black woman. You know, you like to put the black woman on the pedestal and say that the black woman's God, but the very same God that you put on the pedestal turned against you. Your own black god, goddess, you know, totally demolished you, turned against you, tore you down, al alongside with Esau. <laughs> you see? Alongside with Esau. Esau done ripped you a new asshole. 
you know, along with your black goddess, you know, so that's what you get, man, you, 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 you got it bad, bro, you got it, you got it bad, <laughs> but anyway, um, let me read that again, verse 37, and he shall say, where are their gods, their rock on whom they trust, you see, so where are your gods at, you know, where's Anubis at, where, where's the sun god Ra at, that these Egyptian gods you trust in, you know. Verse 38, which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drunk wine of and drunk the wine of their drink offerings. Let them rise up and help you and be your protection. You see, so let these gods that you trust in rise up and help you. You see? You see, so let these gods that you, whom you trust then rise up and help you. The black woman. You like to say the black woman is God, you Egypt, you Kemets. Well, uh, well let, let's see if the black woman is going to help you get out of the situation that you're in. It's going to come through and break you out of jail and rescue you. You know? And for any of you fucking dumbass niggas that believe that, Let's see, let's, let's see if your black goddess, your black queen that you worship will help you in the, in the time of your calamity. When all hell breaks loose, you know, for you niggas out there that want to say that the black woman is God. Well, we'll see, you know. Let your black goddess, whatever, help you in the time where all hell breaks loose in the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, let's, let's see if your black goddess is going to deliver you in that day. You see? You see? So first um thirty-nine. See now that I see now that I even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal, neither is there that any can deliver out of my hand. You see? So nobody's going to deliver you out, out of the Lord's hand. All right, polite. That's why the scripture says is a, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, which you did. You fell into the hands of the living power. You know, let, let's get that real quick. Because that was a very scary thing what you said. You know, when you said you didn't give a fuck about our Lord Yahweh Shai. That was a very scary thing. That, that, that was scary. You know? So I can. All right. So this is um, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. You see? You see, so it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, you know? Because you will, you will be judged to the highest degree. You will feel the full weight of judgment of our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So this is a fearful thing when once you once you come out the mouth like that and this this is what happened to you. Now you got to now you now you got to pay for all of that and we told you you were going to pay for that shit. You know? We we told you. But you didn't listen. Did you? You didn't listen. You thought you thought we were bullshitting. You thought we were crazy. You laughed and you mocked. You know? You thought you was high and mighty. Now look what the Most High did to you. Yahweh Bashim Yahshua did, did to you. Yahweh Bashim Yahshua brought you down. And we told you that the Lord was going to get your ass. And he got you good too. <laughs> you know? He got you real good. But, you know, at the end of the day, let this be a lesson to all of us, you know, being in this truth. 
you know because here it is that um the apostle paul he's he's quoting the scripture um he's he's quoting the scripture deuteronomy chapter 32 verse um verse 35 which which i which i just read you know in the old testament you know well let me just read that right here so um hebrews chapter 10 verse 30 for we know him that he have said vengeance belonging on vengeance belongeth unto me and i will recompense say the lord again the lord shall judge his people you see so the lord said he's going to judge his people and right now he's judging polite brother polite well he has no light no more because there's no light in him <laughs> you see there's no light in him all that bullshit that he was pushing you know there's there's no light in that that doctrine that he was pushing the kemet and all of that shit like there's no light in that you know there, there's no light in him you know the most i blew blew his lights out <laughs> the most i knocked his lights out <laughs> so he's no longer brother polite no more he's brother he's brother no light like the brother um shapar said <laughs> that's exactly what he is brother no light because the most i knocked his lights out <laughs> y'all by shim y'all shine knocked his lights out <laughs> Well, anyway, he had no light in him from the beginning, you know. You know, so, yeah, so that that's exactly what he gets, and good riddance, you know. And we won't miss you neither. <laughs> anyway, anyway, with that, all praises and glories due to y'all. Bashim Yashar, Bashim Rukwakadash, Shalom.